Girl, okay. Webster Doodles. What are the odds? What are the odds? How you gonna explain that? Oh. What? 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 <laughs> Welcome back, gang schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? and sometimes kooky entertainment. And welcome back to the Charm Reaction episode. Today we are covering season one, episode two, called I've Got You Under My Skin. Now that just sounds kind of sensual, but also I kind of want to say it's like a play on words, like maybe it's not a good thing. I don't know. But just based off of the first episode, which we just reacted to, I am on board. I'm ready. I'm ready to go into the world of witches. And I got some homework to do because I feel like there's going to be a lot of information about the lore, mm -hmm. what kind of witches, like what are the rules? Oh, God, I really need to like make sure my brain is on point. <laughs> Now this reaction is going to be a single episode, but moving forward, we are going to double up so we can cover even more ground every week. Yeah, and you'll get longer reaction videos every week. And if you want to do a full watch along with us, there will still be individual episode watch alongs over at our Patreon. And since this season ends on an even number, mainly why we are releasing another single video. We got we got to make it even. But before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about Charmed and anything else that is on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> wait, oh wait, that's cute. Unless you're deeply traumatized from an earthquake, then. Whoops, uh, sorry. Oh, okay, cleavage and a red lip. Accents hires me and then quits to open his own place. Thank you very much. I don't see any customers complaining. Hello. Wait, is that the 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 other chef from the first episode? Mm -hmm. He just quit. Ah, uh, he was cute. Oh, I love that tattoo. Thanks. I thought it was illegal to get them on your hand because of the veins. In the states, yeah. Illegal? Is that still a thing? I will say I'm unsure about the hair. I don't know. I'm sorry, the very soap opery kind of visions is kind of, that one in particular got me. The powers, we agreed. No, you and Prue agreed. I abstained. Besides, not like I could control it. It just it popped into my head. She's gonna be trouble. She's gonna, she's gonna she's, go her own way. She's the baby of the family. Oh, that's fair. Over there wondering if I could buy you a martini or something. Martini, hmm, imagine that, I would love one. That's a man going for Cody's heart. He loves a martini. I do. A green apple martini, right? Well, that was like, baby me. <laughs> now, I like a vodka martini dry with a twist of lemon. That's my like fancy drink order. There you go. Now, as we know, we always check the back seat. <laughs> because otherwise that happens. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a nightmare. That's everyone's nightmare, honestly. Don't you just sometimes just go in the front seat and just like, <laughs> wait a minute, Prue, girl, okay. You know, a lot is happening in her life. <clears throat> girl. Wait, now he has to get, he, he needs that. Meanwhile, you just hear, ow, for the street. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, the chest, the chesticles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just like everybody else does. Someone said that this is a cover of a song. I believe that it is a cover of a song by the Smiths. Oh. I'll make love to somebody with this. Okay. To make somebody? love to Cody. Cody. Sorry. Look at Sergio using the music to change the. Uh... <laughs> I don't know the words, but I know the song. 
Let it go. Torn. Torn. The church to profess her innocence. Suddenly, there was a cloud of thunder, and she was struck by a bolt of lightning. Oh, that's awful luck. You know, dinner, movie, sex. Excuse me? <gasps> On your first date? You sleaze. Ah, <laughs> it just happens sometimes. Actually, that would make it later. Or maybe you and Alec. Who's Alec? Some hottie she hit on in the restaurant. I love the name Alec because it's so like a jerk of them to just be like almost Alex, but it's <laughs> Alec. Andy thinks someone's abducting women in our area. Abducting women? What do you mean? It means that warlocks aren't the only evil that we have to watch out for. Yeah, real predators out there. So Phoebe is the only one that like I always forget her name because I think it's just like the more most normal one because mm -hmm. i for sure was gonna call her petunia i don't petunia. know why i don't know why petunia came to me petunia i'm sorry phoebe oh that's a funny noise in the meantime the best thing you can do right now is to go home in case she calls her right will you do that yeah okay why does he look so different in this episode he looks a little bit more rugged it's because we've seen his his chest. I think it's now. we're just different people now. Yeah. We're just not. Yeah. <sighs> Wait. Pastor Williams. Pastor oh, Williams. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. You can startle me any day. <laughs> I girl, what is happening? <laughs> Vampires. Uh, no. I was thinking more along the lines of witches. Witches, huh? Subtle. Subtle. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. No. See you later. See you later. What do you mean? She's dropping off food for the oh, churches. Oh, I thought it was a date. No. Wait, I don't think they can date. I just. <laughs> am I gonna like burn in hell if I just like find a pastor hot? I mean, after all of midnight mass, I don't think so. That's fair. <laughs> oh yeah, that is that is too. Too coincidental. Yeah, let me help. 18th century French art. You work at the auction house upstairs? No, just- Now we got a man with an accent? Ease, let's slow it down, guys. <laughs> Prue, I think we should talk. Yeah, you know, it's just I'm really late for this interview. I didn't mean for what happened last night to happen, Prue. You have to know that. Of course I'm, uh... Oh, damn, they really rushed their relationship. Oh, no. You just couldn't help ourselves. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I know Andy. All we did was make love. I know Andy. <laughs> what? Hey! That's an abuse of power! Prudence Hollowell. That was strange. Lucky you, huh? Yeah, I'm charmed, all right. <gasps> Drink. She said charmed. She said charmed. Mm hmm. Friend must appreciate that. She's not my girlfriend. Then why are you whispering? Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Let, let's get out of here, Phoebe. You do model, don't you? My dreams. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Rex Buckland, this is Prue Hallowell, <gasps> interviewing for the new specialist. Actually, we've already met. Welcome to my stuffy oh my god this is gonna be interesting whoopsie doodles please don't hurt me oh okay so i was right on the money yeah this is not by now it's oh. <laughs> we just got catfished Powers to turn other people old. He steals their youth. <gasps> just like Hocus Pocus. So is it that he stays youthful, or is he just going back as a baby? Well, if you if you stay youthful, you don't gotta get youthful. That was a private phone conversation. Hardly. Okay, sir. This is not part of the interview. And while we're at it, I think it's incredibly unfair of you to eavesdrop on a private call and then misjudge me You're based right. entirely on what you thought you heard. And this is why I love Prue. Like, mm -hmm. second episode. Now, I may not have sought this job originally, but I do want it. And I'm definitely right for it. Girl, fucking get it. She's giving me, like, close to, but not really, but close to Gail Weather vibes. 
Oh, which is probably why I love her. But Gal Weathers would lead into the like, come here. Yes. <laughs> Of course, now that I'm a witch, I can see if it's going to be any good or not. Guys. Before it actually, I... What's the matter with... It's only the second episode and they're saying witch out loud. Mm -hmm. oh, I ate the worm. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go get some gum. You guys want anything? No, thanks. Okay, good to see you. You too. He's so tall. Oh. Suffer a witch to live. Meaning? If you go by the old school, it means put her to death. She's evil. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ten million dollar jackpot. Who knows? Oh, he's so adorable. She fucking can get the fucking numbers. Thirty, thirty-two, and forty. Trust me, Mister. Today Trust is your her. lucky day. Though I know you, you wouldn't take the numbers. You'd be like, no, what the fuck? No, what would happen or is I would see two. it and I'd be like, wait, I don't remember what they were. <laughs> is that her? Is that? <gasps> Can they not say anything? Or maybe they don't remember. Evil Dead 2. Oh, horror movie? Favorite movie growing up, just for the record. And we watched Evil Dead 2 on the channel. Go check it out. You didn't give Andy my cell phone number by any chance, did you? No, why? Remind me, I wanted to do this. I mean, he's a cop. I guess he can get it. That's what my assumption was. <laughs> Get a like get a pair of gloves or something, dude. Like, oh, like a nice moisturizer would work wonders. No, I'm not telling you that, but we're not talking about me, are we? What are you guys doing in here? Same thing we do at home. <laughs> we're not supposed to use our powers for our own personal gain. That is what it says in the Book of Shadows. <gasps> oh, okay. Mentally noting that. It is a very important role. Oh, geez. Watch it! No, 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 not again. Now look at what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I don't know how this was her fault. Not long. Oh, uh, it doesn't work out here either. Oh, tell me this isn't happening. Oh, no. Okay. Just pick up the plates. Talk. What are you doing here? I thought I had five minutes. Yeah, gave you ten. Guys, you know, we're really busy in here. And you're causing, you're breaking dishes, like Rihanna says. This is like something that. I've never quite understood about the show. I'll just say it's it's never quite explained how time is handled. Like Yeah, because that you're kind of messing with the timeline of the world. Because now, I don't know. I'm not gonna get that that'll get me into loops. So moral of the story, just don't think about it. Okay, okay. never find out. <laughs> Going out on bad dates, buying shoes, and suddenly we wake up one day and everything is different. Why do I feel like I want to cry? I'm like, why am I tearing up? What about all the other warlocks he said would be coming after us? How do we know we're not just like them? That is what scares me. We Honestly, that would scare me too. Like, yeah. you're, I feel like you're just never safe. Just like the Book of Shadows says. Besides, if anyone should be concerned with being bad, it's me, right? <laughs> there you go. A little self-deprecation always lightens the mood. I mean, not because I didn't enjoy it. I did, oh, especially all right, all right. the, um... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> of course, there was the, uh... That was nice, too. <laughs> what were you guys doing? That's not important. It was a sling. They were on, they were literally, like... I mean, we only saw, like, one segment of the bedroom. The spread eagle. That's what's happening. <laughs> Number 17. <laughs> the spread eagle. Prue, we had sex. Doesn't mean we have to elope. You know what she means. It's <laughs> come on. Dating in the nineties. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, that is such like a meta line to say. Mm -hmm. this is... Believe it. That was the auction house thing. Want me to come back in for a second interview? Gotta go. Uh... She's gotta go. There you go. You're good, girl. See, it's okay. Oh, 
What are the odds? What are the odds? This is Hannah Webster, one of our assistant specialists. This is Prue Halliwell. Mm. Nice to meet you. Oh, girl. Mm, I sense you. I sense you. What makes you think it's a copy? Too well preserved. No yellowing. Besides, the frame support is in pine, and Italian painters use pine. Prue, eat her up. Watch out. <gasps> How you gonna explain that? Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. But, I mean, I guess they just like, I don't know, the water, it did something. I guess it's just the right angle that they didn't yeah, see it clearly <laughs> curving around her body. Are you serious? Can you stop Monday? Yeah, absolutely. She did like one and a half identifications and he's like, it's you yours. You really know what you're doing. I think either she's the luckiest woman alive or she's a witch. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Is that for real? Like, do you actually think that? Yeah, who, uh, um... Uh, here you go, Brittany. Why don't you go? Oh, is she whipping her up something? I'm like magical spell, and it's probably like yogurt. No, it's like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> She's a chef. So. Oh, I thought it was like some sort of like spell. It can't be. That's what I thought at first, but then I started asking her some questions. Things only Brittany would know. I'm so fascinated by Prue's top. She is wearing a spaghetti strap sweater. I love it. With a front pocket and a oh, matching zip up. I didn't even see that. I still love it. Oh. 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 oh no, honey. Oh no! Oh, you bitch! You fucking bitch. That scared me. Perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything is so convenient. Oh no, and she died. Okay. Love, no. <laughs> True. That's where Phoebe went. Look at this. Hey, TMT. I mean, even if they reverse it back, how are you, how is she gonna live her life from then on? That's traumatizing stuff. Well, maybe it'll like magically take away her memory. Oh yeah, that's fair. Or let me go. It's job now. They really only wanted to use one shot. Oh yeah, they just like, <laughs> let's, let's just keep coming into the light. <laughs> that was a fucking like, that. <gasps> no! There we go, girl. Oh no, come on! Who's that bitch? Mm-hmm. Evil and a curse. Oh, damn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Completely annihilated him. I thought it was going to be like a Scooby Doo kind of thing. It was like, ah, oh, shucks. I got to go to like the other realm and be jailed. And I would have gotten away with it too <laughs> if you weren't for you meddling charmed ones. I need her to just like, I, I need some volume into the hair, you know? Excuse me. Hey, how about that? You fixed it. Oh. <laughs> I just, I just love the guitar like interlude. You're gonna get a lot of them, don't worry. <laughs> Excuse me, did I just hear right? Did she actually admit to doing something wrong? That's what I heard. Frame it, it won't happen again. <laughs> well, I did. Oh, <gasps> no magic for personal gain. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our reaction to episode two from season one of Charmed. Now, overall, that was a pretty good episode, and I was not expecting the creepy old man to come out. For some reason, the, the look of him reminded me of something else, and I just can't put my fucking finger on it. I don't know why. It's Chavna. 
it's it's creepy it's for sure creepy i love like that just like the laser going into the eyes and turning them old but they're mm -hmm. also just like just put out into the world like god knows how many vic like do we know how many victims there were out nope but there could have been a lot more could have been okay but my favorite storyline of this whole episode is um piper 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 pipers because i feel like realistically this one of one of them should or all of them should be kind of having a hard time grappling this this revelation on, of their life mm -hmm. right so i feel like it was really realistic for them to have someone to be like oh my god what does this mean like where are we evil are we gonna end up evil are we doing evil things is like you know in society what's gonna happen like i feel like it's so realistic to question those things and i really really like that they had that storyline for piper um and she's kind of like growing into her own and seeing that she can do good um overall really great follow-up episode i'm a little sad that they got like andy was so, like, such a high in the first episode and then immediately they're in trouble like they're like oh no they're not on the same page yeah i mean it's got to be tough. Uh, you know, Love Life is going to be tough yeah. as a witch. But overall, banging episode. You let us know what you thought of this episode, guys. Comment down below. Also, we hope that you're enjoying these charmed reactions. Yeah. If you do, please let us know and we'll continue them. Um, but we are planning to double up next week. So we will now be going to two episodes per video making the reactions go go on a little bit longer i'm oh, i'm gonna guess like around 40 minutes instead of your this usual like 25 minutes mm -hmm. roughly speaking and also expect our discussions to be a lot shorter because well we're gonna want to just jump into the episodes for yeah. these but if you want the full watch along for this episode you can go over to our patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon now that is a sync up mode so you will need your own device uh to play charmed on and we'll have a little timer for you guys but on that note we do want to thank our patrons thank you so much for your support we love each and every one of you you guys are awesome if you want to join the patreon team go over to patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon and you'll also see your name at the end of these videos mm -hmm. those start at three dollars and up that's where the charmed episodes are going to be on and if you want to become a youtube member where you can unlock exclusive emojis and members only lives and watch alongs you can click the join button below thank you so much for those youtube members as well as those who are patreon members and youtube members you guys rock but until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay, and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye.